بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئرس ان دس ویڈیو وی ول بی ڈسکسنگ واٹ از ایکسینٹ ان لنگوسٹکس آور ڈسکشن ول بی بیسڈ آن ڈکشنری آف لنگوسٹکس ڈکشنری آف لنگوسٹک ٹرمس انسائکلوفیڈیا آف لینگویج اینڈ کی کنسیپٹس آف انگلش لنگوسٹکس سو لیٹ اسٹارٹ دا فسٹ ایکسینٹ In the first place, it is a greater emphasis on a syllable so that it stands out from other syllables in a word. For example, in the English word import has the accent on the first syllable, while the verb import has the accent on the second syllable. So in this case, it is the emphasis on a syllable. In the other meaning, accent as a noun is in a language or in any written form of a language, particularly in French, a mark which is placed over a vowel is called an accent. An accent may show a difference in pronunciation. For example, in the French word press, which means meadows, The acute accent on the a uh indicates a different vowel sound from that in the press which is near, which means near with a grave accent. Now this time accent means a mark on a vowel which differentiate the pronunciation of the vowel sound in words, particularly in pr- French. It also differentiate in the meaning. For example, In French, O which means R and O which means where. So an accented vowel in one case give you a meaning of one thing while an accented vowel in the other word give you a meaning of another thing. Accent is also a particular way of speaking which tells the listener something about the speaker's background. A person pronunciation may show the region or the country they came from. For example, American accent, British accent, lower middle class accent, northern accent, etc. and etc. Now let's talk about accent definition and explanation given in a Cambridge Encyclopedia of Linguistics. This encyclopedia has documented five different definitions of the word accent. One. A speech variety differing in its pronunciation from other varieties. The variation may be due to regional factors from different areas. It is the same as was given in Longman Dictionary that an accent is the way a language is spoken in an area. For example, American speaks in American accent and British speaks in British accent. The second definition they give is In a variation studies, those features of a personal pronunciation that identify regional or social origin. Dialect studies are also concerned with grammatical and lexical features. Regional accent can be characteristics of urban or rural communities. A person from a city has a different accent from a person from a village. The term is also often applied to the pronunciation of speakers of foreign languages, for example, Russian accent, Indian accent, etc. Social accents relate to the social, cultural and educational circumstances of a speaker and we come to know about the speaker's location, their identity and their areas through their accents. The third definition this dictionary has given is auditory prominence with a word or syllable, also referred to as stress. So in this case, accent is also used as stress. Thus, in computer, the second stress syllable, pew, is perceived as more prominent than other syllables. The fourth definition, in matrix, accent or stress is partially responsibility for the rhythm of metrical words, is in to be or not to be. That is the question. So in different prosodic features of poetry in meters, 
the accented syllables make rhythm in poetic lines. The fifth definition is that marks that indicate pronunciation. For example, we have already explained French in this connection that in French language, the mark is on the vowels which can differentiate the meaning and pronunciation of the vowel sound in words. Encyclopedia of Language by Trask has given a long overview on this particular word, accent. This encyclopedia says that a particular way in which a group of people collectively pronounce a language, foreign language with more than a handful of speakers, there are prominent regional, social and individual differences in the way the language is pronounced by different people and the pronunciation of many words usually change quite radically over time. Sometimes these differences are dramatic. Each distinguishable type of pronunciation is called an accent. Depending on where we come from and what experiences we have, we will be able to identify accents different from our own with more or less precision. In the case of English, this may be an American accent or Deep South accent or Scottish accent or working class London accent or French accent or Russian accent and so on. It is important to realize that everybody has an accent. It is not possible to speak the sounds of language without using some accent pattern. Of course, every one of us regards some accents as more familiar than others or as more prestigious than others, but that is a different matter. We are merely more sensitive to accents which differ strongly from our own. In the early days of cinema, for example, British audience were unable to understand the American voices in the talkies simply because they had little experience of hearing American accent. Now, related to accent, we have some two very interesting terms. These are accent discrimination and accent reduction. Accent discrimination is a kind of discrimination or bias against speakers with foreign, regional or social class accents. For example, in employment or in legal proceedings, we can easily identify the accents of different people related to different social classes or regions. Accent reduction is a program designed to help second language speakers speak a second or foreign language without showing evidence of a foreign accent. So they are more like natives. Such programs reflect the fact that many second language speakers experience accent discrimination based on their accent. There is no evidence, however, that reduction in a foreign accent necessarily entails an increase in intelligibility. You may be speaking any accent and you may be intelligible by the native speakers. There is no issue in that. Hence, many educators are go for a greater tolerance of foreign accents in this regard. Now, this was a brief discussion about what is accent in linguistics. Thank you.